I'm here with Sarah Beth and Emily, and they are our two sideline captains here at Mount Perrin. Um, you girls look great tonight. You guys are, you guys are killing it, getting Thank the whole you. student body rocking out there. It's been pretty impressive. Um, you guys' squad seems very, very, very tight knit. I mean, um, I mean, just the, you guys work so well together. Um, describe some of the team building stuff that y'all kind of involve yourself in. Well, at the beginning of the summer after tryouts, uh, we all go to camp together um, as a competition team. And, um, you know, through that two to three day experience, we go through so much together as we're trying to work on our stunts, work on our sidelines, you know, uh, try out for All-American. Um, you know, it's really a team building experience and we get really close and really tight knit. And um, so then after camp, we're practicing constantly in the summer. And um, we also, we have a week of just strictly sideline practices that are like all day long, all week. And um, at the end of the week, we paint the run throughs uh, that our guys run through at the beginning of the games. And um, that's also a day long process and takes a lot of teamwork. Um, but I think one of the biggest things is the accountability that we have and um, just our ability as a team to take constructive criticism um, from each other. We're so close and a lot of us have been in this program since 6th grade um, all the way to 12th grade and um, just, you know, we're so close relationally and even at school, like on and off the mat, we are close friends and we're able to uh, keep each other accountable for our health, for our practice, for our work ethic. Now, the tryout process for, for a team like yours it has to be pretty tough. I mean, there's got to be quite a bit you know, that goes into it. Go ahead and explain on that a little bit for me. Um, this week, it was two weeks long, and there was about 50 girls from the high school. And it just involved a bunch of, like, learning cheers, learning a dance, and they bring in guest choreographers to teach us the dance so that no one knows it beforehand. And we just Let's show up another round of applause for the soaring of a marching band. As we go, it's just a big long try at the end. And we bring in guest judges from your director, Billy Flood, so would like to give special recognition to, seniors to our sound engineer and college. number one Aquaman, and she's Alan Mushner, as fun. well as our tremendous set of parent and volunteers. And Everybody on your squad is really, really busy. Obviously, I mean, I, mean, I know that with, with just the cheerleading. But you guys are all like extremely well-rounded young ladies. I mean, what what other activities y'all involved in? I mean, you guys you got any, like really, really special girls out here like involved with like everything or what? Um, we have so many girls who do uh, multiple like sports, multiple activities, and clubs. And um, also with that, we also have so many girls who are so dedicated. But um, you, even with how strict our program is with cheer, we also have the ability to, you know, try out some other things. Um, I've been blessed to be able to participate in our performing arts program, which I love, and um, to run track and field throughout high school. And um, I know we also have a ton of girls who play basketball and um, who are also in the arts. And uh, like Emily does all star cheerleading. Question. Um, any advice for the, the sixth grader that's just starting out in the, in the Mount Parent program, or even like the second or third grader that wants that, that looks up to you girls and really wants to do what you do? Any advice to them? Um, work on tumbling a lot. Yeah. Go to stunt classes. <laughs> um, practice cheering. Practice getting confident from the crowd. Yeah. Maybe even come to some of us high school girls and ask us to help you. Ask us to teach you some stuff. Uh, I would say to always be open to instruction, to always be open uh, to accept what those who are saying to you that are older than you and who have more experience than you, and um, just to not give up because it can get discouraging and you know you see girls doing stuff that you would never dream that you could do, but if you have perseverance and you have the endurance, then you will always be able to stick it through and be able to reach the goal that you're trying to get. Girls, girls are incredible. You guys got a great program here. We really appreciate your time.